Hey man, peace. I only shop at Trader Joe's because I never eat anything genetically modified, man. You must be either a liar or a total fucking idiot. Hey guys, welcome to episode six of Douchebag America. Today we're gonna to discuss people who are against genetically modified food, or as I like to call it, food. All right, usually I write this down, but this one I'm just gonna sort of rant because I don't know, whatever, let's roll. Here's the deal with people who are against genetically modified food. It's almost the same as the people who are against vaccines. Um, almost the same, almost the same. But there's just so ignorant of what it takes to make food. Everything you eat is in some way, shape, or form genetically modified, even if it's all natural. Do you know how big corn used to be? You know in Chinese food when you eat around those nasty little corns and you get around them and you do whatever. That's how big corn used to be until people selected it and bred it together and crossbred it until it got a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger till we have the size of the corn we have now. Grain, do you know grain, wheat? All of these grains, wheats, barleys, oats, they were tiny little grasses on some steppe in Asia that again was edible, but you grew it a little bit bigger, grew it a little bit bigger, grew it a little bit bigger, and over millennia, five, six, seven, eight thousand years of cultivation, it got bigger, okay? These are genetically modified. I mean, the list can go on and on and on. Pigs were about the size of a Jack Russell Terrier. Sheep, not much different. Horses were about yay tall. Cows were a little bit shorter, okay? All of these were crossbred by mankind, genetically modified. Now, did it happen overnight? No, it didn't, but we did it, all right? So everything you eat is in some way, shape, or form genetically modified unless you're basically having, I don't know, Kelp and oysters. No, oysters are probably farm grown these days. No, not even oysters. I don't know, a coelacanth. If you ate coelacanth. Do you eat coelacanth? No, no one fucking eats coelacanth. Probably, probably bony, right? I don't know, whatever, anyway. So when you rail against genetically modified food, you're actually railing against food in general. Now here's the second part. Everyone's like, oh, it's harmful for the environment, blah, 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 blah. We don't know what the adverse effects are gonna be. Actually, we do. Right now, scientists are in the process of developing um, insect resistant grains and wheats and stuff like that, that will no longer need pesticides. All right. So no more poisoning from uh, artificial pesticides because it will be embedded in the genetic code of these new crops. All right. What is the next one? Um, fertilizers, fertilizers. Do you know what? Okay. So a scientist named Fritz Haber uh, invented a way to synthesize petroleum. One of the good things of that was fertilizers and thus an increased crop yield. But right now we're getting what's called, I think it's called ocean blooms. And we're getting ocean blooms as all of this artificial petroleum product runoff goes into our oceans, lakes, and streams. And it's killing entire dead zones. The whole Mississippi River Delta and its effluvia, effluvia, whatever, who cares? That whole area of the Gulf of Mexico is pretty much dead because of these runoffs. Now, how do we solve this? Again, if we had crops that that did not need artificial fertilizers. Again, if it was embedded in the genetic code of the crops. Right now, scientists are in the process of creating um, some sort of grass. I forgot exactly what it was. Um, I'll put in the link below that has amino acids and omega fatty acids and fish oils in the actual crop, okay? Just two teaspoons of this fish oil, artificial fish oil made naturally, not man now, just two teaspoons of this plant-based, genetically modified fish oil can cure millions of ailments around the developing world. We don't have the problem because we have balanced diets. It's just incredulous that people would be like, oh, I can't have genetically modified food when everything you eat is, genetically, when everything you eat is genetically modified in the first place. And these are going to make... Okay, you know what? I got, I got two arguments. If you are against genetically modified food, don't have children, okay? Just don't have children, don't have them. Because the crop yields created through genetic manipulation and artificial growth of products is what allows you to have your fucking kids. It's what allows the earth to grow, all right? So, unless you want everyone to starve or you're gonna make the personal sacrifice to not have a child, don't be against genetically modified food. I know that's an out there, outlandish fucking argument, but seriously, you're an idiot. You're a total bizarre, 
cockamamie that I'm not I'm gonna strike that word get rid of cockamamie and that's just the plants I mean you can't even eat apples you know how big apples used to be that big what made them bigger we grew them we grew them to be bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger all right the granny smith was invented just like a hundred years ago okay but that's all natural no it's a genetically modified aberration freakness all right which is the same thing that we're doing except with science instead of crossbreeding we're just merely doing it faster and better you are anti-science if you do not agree with this science you literally are you're fighting. You're you're in the dark ages. You are Savonarola, and this is the bonfire of the vanities, and your comeuppance is nigh, or something like that. I probably got the analogy totally wrong. No, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah. Anyway, so that's just our plant foods that we eat: the corns and the wheats and the grains and the barley's and the oats and the rice. All of that has been modified over millennia by the hand of mankind. Okay, therefore, all of that is artificial in some way shape or form hell mankind is artificial and if before you say oh it's tampering with nature's way well then go fucking shoot yourself because you're tampering with nature's way do you wear clothes no nature in that all right so fuck you you're tampering with nature's way you're an idiot that water that argument has that water argument holds no bucket you know what i'm saying maybe i should write these down oh wait i do um next if you eat your grass-fed beef or your grass-fed chicken or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Have you ever taken a look at a chicken catalog? Crazy question. I have, because we grew up with chickens. And have you seen some of the chickens? Buff Orpingtons and Mrs. Pennyfeather and Pukas and with little crowns and stuff like that. They're crazy variety. Why? Because we crossbred. Oh, wait, <laughs> genetically modified. You can't have a dog either. Yep, that's right. If you don't believe in genetically modified stuff, you can't have a dog. Because what's a dog? Fucking genetically modified. You think they all came like that with respiratory problems? Also, if you buy a purebred, you've got another problem too. Because most purebreds have tons of congenital disorders, especially like French Bulldogs and Boston Terriers and stuff like that. There's a shit ton wrong with those dog owners. That's another subject. Anyway, okay, so you can't own cats, can't own dogs, you can't eat grains. Um, what else can't you do? Oh, can't eat beef. No, nope. can't eat chickens because they're com completely genetically modified. Basically, you can't eat unless you're eating snails. No, wait, <laughs> I forgot. You can't even eat snails. Snails were the very first animal farmed by mankind. We farmed them long before anything else. Uh, in the... Um, Middens, middens, right? Middens, yeah. In the middens of Europe, snails were found long before any other livestock, uh, predating livestock in the Middle East where it all came from. Uh, goats, can't eat goats, those were tiny too. So basically, my final point is, you're not against genetically modified food. You're just terrified of learning anything. You're actually ignorant, okay? If you are genuinely terrified of the future that genetically modified crops will bring, you have to stop eating everything but kelp and lobsters because that's pretty much the only thing. I, hell, kelp's probably farm now. Lobsters. Basically, all you can eat is lobsters. Lobsters and a brook trout that you catch on your own while fucking naked with a sharpened stick. Nope, you just modify nature again. Sharpened stick. Nope. Bare hands, bare hands. Brook trout, bare hands, and kelp that's not farmed. It's basically the only things you can eat if you don't believe in genetically modified food. You're an idiot and you're poisoning society. You're just as bad as the vaccine people. You literally are just as bad as the anti-vaccination people. All right, well, I am going to piece together what I just said because I don't really know what I just said because that was all off the cuff. And I'll have a scripted one. Uh, maybe I'll make this a series, like an unscripted and a scripted one. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you like this format where I just yell at you for being a fucking moron? I don't know. Uh, yeah. This is going to come off as really pedantic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. Good night. Peace.